Welcome to Zlatibor, everybody. Here we are in the old town of what has to be the Serbian city with the most construction. Now, I'm not sure if that's statistically true, but it seems like there are more buildings being built than there are apartment buildings that are already built. So it feels like the city is doubling in size right before our very eyes. And I guess that's because there's a lot to do here in Zlatibor. Most noticeably is the world's longest gondola. Now, when I think of a gondola, I think of the boats in Venice. So to me, this is a cable car, but nonetheless, world's longest at nine kilometers. And I guess it weaves its way up into the mountains and ends at a very popular skiing and snowboarding resort in the wintertime. So lots to do here in Zlatibor, including the Dino Park. Now, this is not something Ivana and I would typically feature on our channel, but what's happened is we've met another couple who, by pure coincidence, are taking their own road trip on basically the same route we are. Yeah. And so for the past week or so, we've been accidentally on purpose traveling with Theodore and Mary. Big shout out to them. And so the four of us decided to go to the Dino Park yesterday and we had two or three hours of very wholesome fun. <laughs> I was really, really impressed with the Dino Park and it made me think, man, I cannot wait to have children. Because when Ivana and I are traveling with our kids, we'll be able to spend all day in the Dino Park. We will take them there for sure. And I will pretend that we're there for the children, but really, I will be there for me. Yes. Because we did a lot and it was really a good time in the Dino Park. <laughs> so anyway, come along with us as we explore Zlatibor. We are going to walk through the old town here and I think end up going towards a cave with a potential waterfall and a possible sighting again of Theodore and Mary. So come along with us as we explore Zlatibor, a city in the mountains that seems to be booming with lots to do. Let's go. I tell you what, really nice old town here. This must be the main square. It's a little bit cold because of the altitude. We're up in the mountains, mm -hmm. but uh, beautiful place. Everybody walking around, sunshine, just nice. Great place to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Delivery. Wow, look at this fountain, that's neat. It's two jets of water that collide in midair. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's a clever fountain. Just simple, but just interesting, no? <laughs> I love this area. Nice, right? It's actually beautiful. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, really, really nice. <laughs> Jibeli, Jibeli. Jibeli. Coffee and juice. <laughs> now, to be clear, my favorite place in all of Serbia is still Perucec Lake. Yeah. Down there on the houseboat, the memories we had were second to none. My favorite place. But my favorite city, I'm gonna say Zlatibor. What? The whole city center here is so well maintained, huge pathways, no graffiti, no garbage. To be clear, it is a tourist city. So right. it's built this way for a reason, but does not feel like a tourist trap. Hmm. No pushy salespeople, very family friendly. Right. And you sort of have this energy of all the people and all the construction, a bit of a city vibe, but there's still huge trees and beautiful nature all around. It's like a city in the mountains. True. Gives you the best of both worlds. Yes, that's right. I love this place. Me too. I'm going to say favorite city in <laughs> Serbia so far. Stay tuned to our road trip because we still got two or three weeks left. So maybe it'll change. Mm -hmm. But right now, favorite place? Petrochech Lake, favorite city is Latibor. Right. And so uh, with that being said, let's go check out the cave. I'm not sure what to expect. It's one of the top tourist things to do here. Yeah. Cave and potentially waterfall. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's dodgeball, isn't it? No, no, they gotta throw the soccer balls at the blue and green ah. big balls. See what I'm saying? Ah. They're trying to move that other ball with the small ones. Yeah. Wow. Check this out. It's a meat market. Let me tell you something. The smell in here is so good. Salty meat and kaimak in the air. Wow. <laughs> Zlatibor got lots of like souvenir markets from dried meats to rakia 
to kind of just kind of like artwork. Uh huh. You know, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like this little market. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Fine. My name's Steve. You know what? The only times they have your name. You <gasps> spell it differently. You found Ivana? No, it's spelled differently. Ivan. No, no Ivana, yeah, right there. Yeah, they have. Oh my god, finally, somewhere where I can find my name on a keychain. <laughs> ah, yay! My Indonesian wife with a Serbian name. <laughs> tell you what, if you think Zlatibor is beautiful, wait until you drive 10 minutes out of Zlatibor. <laughs> All rolling green hills and little buildings speckled along them. Nice drive. Very nice. The Serbian road trip has provided for some good driving. Yes, that's True, right. right? Beautiful. So I tell you what, probably a pretty ready for tourism cave. We got a full parking lot, a couple stalls here, and a uh, cave this way. I think it's ready for tourism, Ivana. Should be a good experience. Oh, there it is, Ivana. <laughs> Looks awesome. I tell you what, as far as caves go, this is a nice experience because the lighting is actually pretty good and the air is not so damp. Obviously, there's a river running right through the cave. You could probably hear. And the walls are wet and the floors are wet. It's still got the cave dampness, but it's not totally gross where your skin is ugh, in a couple minutes. So, so far so good. And I think it's pretty huge. Let's keep adventuring. Maybe we'll see some bats or snakes. No snakes, please. <laughs> So I guess there's not enough water today or maybe not enough rain in the past few days because the idea is water fills up in this one like it is and overflows to the next one and then to the next one and it's sort of a cascading waterfall. They've done a nice job with the lights all different colors but I guess not enough water today. Yeah, it's too bad. I want to see that this is the main attraction I think of the cave. Oh really? It's here, pools, you know? With all the and with colors. with the water reflecting on the colors and the lights it will be so oh. pretty. But it's okay, still really, really amazing. Not too bad, let's keep pressing on. Oh yeah, the pools are still here. Oh, this would be really, this would be really special if it was uh, full of water. Yeah. Oh, too bad. Still amazing to be honest, but would be really something special if the water was flowing. I can't see the water, is so clear. Wow, this is so cool. Oh uh, yeah, right. All right, so in the end, the highlight of our cave experience was the ascending staircase on top of the waterfall. They were very smart to use graded metal where you can see through what you're walking on and it kind of adds a layer of excitement to it. Although a little disappointed about the multicolor cascading pools that unfortunately was not flowing today. I will say this, shout out to all the Serbian guys who did not write their name on the side of the cave. Every cave we go to, some under 25 year old person writes Steve plus Ivana forever or something on the side of the cave. But this cave, as you can see, is almost entirely graffiti free. So good work, Serbian youth. <laughs> and with that it. being said, uh, next stop, maybe waterfall. Yes, another waterfall, but outside of a cave. It's not underground. It's not underground. Yeah, it's not underground. This is so cool. I think this is the prettiest cave I've ever seen. Really? I think so. They've done a good job with the lighting <laughs> and with the pathway. Yeah. Very accessible and very good. Yeah. Maybe right. Beautiful. Maybe the best cave we've seen. And we've seen more than a few caves, to be honest. That's true. Okay, very good. Let's go. Okay, we've gotten our tickets. And I'm uh, starting to hear the sound of a waterfall just down this pathway here. Oh, so it's more than just one waterfall. Yes. It's like multiple waterfalls and all of the streams, potentially a big one down here. Uh -huh. Okay, lots to explore. Good thing I brought my adventure hat. <laughs> Oh, 
Now the question is, are you allowed to go swimming in any of these areas? It could be freezing cold by the looks of it, but it could be very crisp and refreshing. I've brought my bathing suit. Maybe we'll, we'll see if we can find some signage. And now the adventure really begins. So there are no signs around saying no swimming and I've talked to a bunch of people who are swimming here. So I think we're okay to maybe swim on the second level there, which looks pretty exciting. Let's go. You coming up top, Ivana? Oh my god, no! <laughs> nice. The water is ice cold, let me tell you guys. Steve is trying to go up to the second pool. There is a pool up there, actually. So, we'll see how he's gonna go up. Oh, gosh. Careful, Steve! With the cave over here! Oh, the Serbian cave part two! <laughs> All right, if I've come. Oh my gosh. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> okay. Was it worth it? I'm not sure, but I had to do it. Woo! Success. <laughs> How was it, Steve? I'll tell you what, it's amazing these rocks are not slippery at all. Usually they have moss. True. And they go slippery. Yes. So it's totally safe. You can't slip at all. Yeah, true. Uh, my feet look like tomatoes. They're so red. They're freezing. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Tidor for showing me the way. Literally <laughs> showing me the way. Yes, yes, our uh, friend. It's worth it. Up there is not much, but. If I come this close, I beautiful. gotta go the last bit. It looks bit. beautiful. With that being nice. said, I'm cold. So let's go get them lunch. Let's go. And maybe they're hungry too. Yeah. Let's okay, go. let's eat. Let's go. Nice driving. Beautiful. Wow, really nice driving. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. So many shades of green in the sun with all the shadows on a low angle. Just nice. <laughs> little village down here. Little yeah. Little away villa. So nice. Just nice. And honestly, I'm super duper hungry. So let's eat. Let's eat. This is very <laughs> What is it? This is bacon? No. It, is bacon. it looks like. It looks like prosciutto cut in the cold with bacon. Or, or prosciutto. It looks like prosciutto. Oh, it's not prosciutto. It's not prosciutto. It's this is it's cornbread? It's prosciutto. Cornbread. It, this has to be cornbread. Cornbread and carmine. Yes. And yeah. cheese. And a beautiful egg salad. Yeah. Because the waiter really recommended the appetizer. <laughs> Big appetizer. Yes. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> this makes more more sense. More is coming. This is appetizer. Yes. This is <laughs> Big appetizer. <laughs> small. 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 This one is uh, borak. No. No, uh, no, it's uh, pie. It's spinach pie. It's spinach pie. Yeah, with cheese. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Okay. This is like a meal. <laughs> Let's eat. So what happened was, we were trying to order a bunch of different things, and the waiter said, what you need to get is the appetizer. Yeah. We were like, okay. <laughs> And this is the greatest appetizer I've ever had in my life with the best Kaimak I've ever had. I want to eat the whole spoon of Kaimak at once. <laughs> it's so good food. Everything is very good. Uh, the potato and bacon is nice. The spinach pie is very good. The meat is good, but the Kaimak is unbelievable. Six star food. Big shout out to the waiter. He saved it. He really saved it. Do it, do it. Manageable? So spicy at all. <laughs> spicy at all. <laughs> Sweet pepper. Sweet pepper. <laughs> it's not spicy pepper. What happened? 
game is spicy. Not <laughs> <laughs> this game. Not <laughs> this game. It's trippy. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh my gosh. So this one is uh, stewed veal in a pot. They call it stewed veal in a pot. And then we've also got uh, grilled trout. Oh my gosh. I'm, the problem is I'm full. You guys hungry? Be honest. I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry enough that I will enjoy this food. Okay, fair. Actually, I think the answer right now is gonna be stewed pork in a thing with Kaimak. That's gonna be the ultimate food right now. Stewed veal and Kaimak for the win. It's actually so good. It's a bit unnecessary, but it's so good. It wasn't that much food. <laughs> it wasn't that much. Well, let's be honest. Really? <laughs> you look like you've been in a fight, man. <laughs> no, man, easy. Easy work. Can you believe? This guy wants dessert. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so as per the waiter's recommendation, we literally told him, just bring your best dessert. What's it called? Tufakia. Yeah. Tufakia. It's Tufakia. What'd you call, <laughs> what'd you call me? <laughs> It's gotta be a pear, no? Or an apple. It's apple. Apple, apple. Apple, apple, apple. It's probably a pear, man. It looks like an apple. <laughs> it's gonna be a pear. <laughs> With whipped cream. It's good. Okay. It's good. To be hungry, to be fair, I'm not hungry on it anymore. But I'm just saying. Uh, it's fruits. At least it's, it's tasty. But it's fine. It's fruits. It's fruit. This is like this is like a health health dessert, <laughs> yeah. okay? All right. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There's uh -oh. something inside. Please, walnuts. Walnuts soaked in rum. Walnuts soaked in rum. Tasting very good. Rum extract walnuts. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. What the fuck yeah. Pardon? <laughs> this! Hey, everybody! Norok to all my Romanian brothers and sisters. Norok, Norok, Norok. <laughs> all right, good food. And good friends. Absolutely six star meal. Some of the best Serbian food I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Including very good. the best Kaimak I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. And we had an absolutely great time with our friends. So we decided to show you guys our accommodation. We are on our way to Yuvats. Right. Let's go. All right. We just made it to our accommodation. I guess Ivana is over here. I think we're staying in this cabin. So it seems like yet another great booking by the lovely Ivana. We're not too far from the main road. There's a city over here you can see and uh, sort of like a highway nearby, but it's still very quiet back here. I think this is our place, but I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> another great day on the Serbian road trip. Let's see uh, what happens next. Rakia. Yes. <laughs> Rakia, okay, good. <laughs> made, made organic. Organic. Uh, honey, okay, okay. Good. Rakia, 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 good. Serbian Rakia. Serbian Rakia, Šlivovica. Šlivovica. Šlivovica, izvolte. Thank you. Havala, havala. Izvolte. Živeli. Živeli, živeli, živeli. Živeli, dobro došli. Živeli. 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 Izvolte. Voda. <laughs> Some honey now? Honey. Mm. Ah, your belly. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And I guess our place is right here. Our little balcony up front. And our bathroom. Separate from our sleeping quarters. Uh, oh, more beds over here. Ivana and I can crash here. I tell you what, on the pictures, it looks a lot bigger. It's very small in real life, but I think it'll satisfy Ivana and us one night here before we go tomorrow to explore Yuvats on the boat. Yes, from the canyon. From the canyon, uh, through the canyon. So, thanks for joining us on our adventure today, everybody. We are yet to have a bad day on the Serbian road Hopefully. trip. Hopefully. No bad days. Maybe Come I just on. jinxed it. Tomorrow we're going on a boat and I'm talking about no bad days. Oh gosh. But uh, stay tuned to see what we get up to next.
Oh my gosh, I got a warm belly from that. Uh, <laughs> Rakia. Whew. Later, guys. Hey, babe. Can I ask you something? Are your legs cold? <laughs> I'm freezing. How do you do it? I think it's the Rakia keeping you warm. <laughs> One shot. It's all it takes. <laughs>